by unanimous decision, your winner! I expected her to back up a lot and um, come in with a few strikes and then finish with a kick, which she did. So I expected that in the uppercut she did, like I expected that as well. Um, I just came too close to it, you know? And so, uh, yeah, that was what I expected. And I knew once I got her to the ground that she didn't, wasn't gonna have much for me. Um, I don't think she's, she's like white belt level on the ground. I'm a brown belt, you know? So I was confident once I get her to the ground that I was able to just have my way with her. I see myself going to the UFC, you know, but um, if that's not the case, you know, if I need to get one or two more fights, then I'm fine with that. And if I need to get the Invicta belt, you know, I will. So it's just a matter of what way we go now. If it's an offer from the UFC, then I'm going there. If it's not, then I'm gonna, you know, go after that belt and eventually be the champion here and then see what else. I think it's done amazing things for us females because if you look at, a lot of the top level girls in the UFC, like Amanda Nunes, you know, she came from Invicta. She fought for Invicta. Uh, Michelle Waterson, Tisha Torres, like Kat Zingano, like all these girls started in Invicta. Uh, Rose, you know, the former Starweight champ, uh, they are all started uh, with Invicta and now like they're top of the level in the UFC, top of the level in the world, you know, like Amanda Nunes is a double champ, you know, so it's just, I mean, it, it's, uh, the beginning, you know, like small, like people who debut for Invicta, it's like, wow, like, you know, like that's a great honor, you know? So, I mean, it's just wonderful for the female uh, MMA world. Just a uh, shout out to my family and friends, my sponsors, uh, Ball Wash, Urban Water, uh, Max Muscle. Um, yeah, thank you.